One of the country's leading student loan watchdog from Washington is in Maine trying to persuade lawmakers that regulations need to be in place when it comes to student loans. The same kind of regulations in place when it comes to mortgages and car loans. But it was more of um, lying by omission. Hillary Manuel of Old Orchard Beach found herself drowning in student loan debt, owing $96,000 after attending USM and then Suffolk University in Boston for grad school. Her monthly student loan payment, $1,200, two-thirds her entire income. They knew how much money I was making. They knew that that debt-to-income ratio wasn't feasible for someone just out of school. Seth Frotman, who led the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau in Washington, says student loan servicing companies are being deceitful by not telling the whole truth to borrowers who are in trouble, not telling them about a host of repayment option plans that are available. Unfortunately, what we've seen is that the student loan company is responsible for helping borrowers get in that plan, get enrolled in that plan, and ultimately be successful, are asleep at the switch. They're giving borrowers bad information, conflicting information, or no information at all. I went and looked for myself for repayment options, and through trial and error and submitting incomplete paperwork, the wrong paperwork, with minimal to no guidance, I was was finally able to muscle my way through into a repayment program. After today's public hearing, the bill will be discussed at a work session next week, and then it remains to be seen whether it'll make it to the full legislature for consideration. In Augusta, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.